Joining me now with how to position into what could be a rocky earnings season is Steve Auth. He's Federated Hermes Equity CIO. Steve, it's great to see you. Welcome. Likewise, Kelly. So, you know, we have difficult headwinds as the year carries on. Um, but what would you say to people about the biggest opportunity in the markets right now? We're cautiously constructive, Kelly. Uh, you know, we've had this range for this year between 4,400 on the upside, 5% off of that here. Um, we still think there's a, a, a chance to retest the, the summer lows somewhere above 3,600. So we're leaning into stocks. We're trying to stay defensive and picking off some value plays, um, not buying, you know, the big run we've had in tech. I think that's really based on an idea that we're heading into a banking crisis, a systemic, you know, it, you know economy-wide recession as a result. The Fed is going to hike and then... Um, you know, dramatically cut. And that's why people are running to the tech stocks. And we're not buying that. Um, we're in the rocky landing. Count me as part of the pause uh, posse, as you put it. Uh, I was part of the, as you know, the hike posse uh, back in the summer of 21. And we weren't being listened to at that right. time. And I think the Fed will um, probably not listen to the pause posse either. They just feel like they need to hike. They're going to do it. But we're looking forward, not backward. Between the credit tightening we've had and the runoff in um, some of the commodity prices, supply chain problems being fixed, the inflation numbers are coming off, Kelly. And we think the Fed could be cutting later in the year, not because they're worried about a crisis, um, but simply because um, inflation by then will be running considerably below where Fed funds is. I mean, the and they Fed. Have some room to cut. Right. The Fed members themselves are saying policy is already restrictive. So, you know, we're, we're, yeah. we're well past neutral. We're into restrictive. It seems to be getting more so every day. Steve, can, I, and I do want to talk about sort of which parts of the market you like, but I thought it was interesting what you said. I mean, and Michelle mentioned this a moment ago, you know, the Fed's trying to be forward looking. Well, are they? I mean, what told you in the summer of 21 that they were, you know, running too loose? What tells you now they're running too tight? And what sort of data do you think that they should be looking at instead? Well, Kelly, as you know, we've got a Federated Hermes, 120 analysts, portfolio managers that are reporting up into me. So I'm very to date on what all the companies are saying out there. And if the Fed, you know, in the old days, the Fed chairman was known for keeping in touch with what was going on in the economy. I'm not so sure that goes on today, you know, but if you were talking to companies back in the summer of 21, it was very obvious there were massive uh, supply side problems wage pressures, people weren't coming back to work, and we were heading into a very significant inflationary problem. There were problems in the energy sector, et cetera, well before the Ukraine war. So I think, yeah, the the the, the hike posse, I wasn't the only one. There were many of us mm -hmm. that were calling for hikes. And yeah, I think this time around it's the same thing. If you're talking to the companies, you're seeing credit is contracting, uh, supply chain problems are easing, the drunken sailors in the room, if you will, the, the tech companies have uh, really cut back. They were driving wage prices higher. Now, you know, I guess Google last week cut out uh, Friday afternoon massages and Monday morning right. uh, muffins. Uh, you know, it, it's uh, that's taking pressure off disproportionately off off of wages. So.